but why are you looking that up? What's the one bill that if we could put in the drive? Who's one bill you'd want in the back seat for the drive? Be McCarran? I don't think I can sit that close to greatness. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Sunday drive. Oh my, another one. So do you think Alan could fit in the back seat? No. Well, nah, maybe. Um, it was very nah, funny. probably not. We were having a discussion about Josh Allen. It's like, how would this discussion... What if Alan was in the back seat while you guys were talking? Mm -hmm. First of all, we'd be getting chased by the cops because we kidnapped them. <laughs> yeah, this, would, this should be a felony. Yes. Second of all, I think the conversation would take a little bit different. Sure. Slant, if he was in the car. Then again, you Did know, you really have to use the term slant when talking about a quarterback? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Double entendre. Continue. Uh, it's, it's interesting, too, because I think that... Uh, part of me wants to say that the conversation wouldn't be any different. You don't think so? No. Because what do we care? Yeah, that's true. I, I, I think we'd ask a little bit more in-depth football-y questions. Absolutely. Too. It would you be know? more professional in that in that plight. I didn't know we were just beating the crap out of them the whole time, were we? I, I did comment on another video insinuating uh, that Josh Allen needs to work on his handwriting since he'll be holding a clipboard all year. So I did. You I did, did. I did do that. So that's where I sit on. <laughs> that's, that's. And he's right. Uh, he's, that's where on the fence I am. You said that, uh, and, and it's it's an advantage for me for what you previously said as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you said he only must have answered the questions on the right side of the page, he'd never be able to punch me from the back seat because I'm no. on his left. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wouldn't read your questions. <laughs> he wouldn't be able to hit me in the back of the head and yeah. back there. Yeah, so the scatter chart for Allen is really, I mean, I don't know. If, <clears throat> here's the thing about scatter charts, right? While they look really interesting and you could try and derive some fact from it we don't the question is system right S system so Wyoming you, had a system they did believe it or not so the only thing you can really do is go back one quarterback right and look at their scatter chart and say okay mm. is this consistent to the system is this does this make sense right do you think that's fair I think that's I think it's reasonable I think just as uh just as um as you're doing that. I, I have to look up Wyoming's previous quarterback. <laughs> Interesting. You didn't think you were doing that when you woke up this morning? Huh? Sure didn't. I think that because of the same reason that we talk about Allen versus McCarron is the same reason you can't compare him to his previous quarterback that's been there because of the tools and the uh, abilities that Allen has. Opens up so much more of your playbook. You, didn't, you like the Arian Foster reference? I do like the Arian Foster reference. <laughs> I realized that... What? I had Arian Foster his rookie season. Did you know that? Did, did I tell you that? You didn't I tell me the story. The, I drafted him in the last round of a fantasy league I was in. And everyone went, who? I said, just wait. You know who you saw? You sound like that. You sound like a fan that's like, yeah, I was at the comeback game. Everybody was at the comeback game. Yeah, and everybody drafted Arian Foster in the last <laughs> round. <that year>. <laughs> <laughs> So, 2015 starting quarterback for Wyoming. There are two guys. Uh, one guy started nine games. One guy started five games. That's fine uh, because uh, if you look at it, right, Allen started, what, 10 games his last season? Last year he started 10 games? Really? 11 games? So? 11 That's games. Okay. He played 11 games. 16 so, touchdowns, 11 games. Yep. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, so, Cameron Kaufman, who was their previous starting quarterback prior to Allen taking the role, started nine games. Um had a 63.1% completion percentage for 1951 in yards, 10 interceptions to 18 touchdowns. So not quite two to one. Sounds pretty familiar, doesn't it? How many more? <clears throat> the thing is, you have to look at that. Look at the, the as, if we're going for Jordan Palmer, how many of those completions were to running backs? Let's in take comparison a look. to Allen. Let's take a look at the receiving stats. So Brian Hill. 20 receptions. Wow. That, that was more back. than what Allen did. I think that the, yeah. the top... 
top running back that, or top receptions for a running back when Allen was there was nine. I want to say it was nine. And then the other running back, Sean Wick. So, I mean, basically. John Wick? Sean Wick. Not Keanu Reeves. Uh, Tess, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're just looking at this from a real basic level, about 25 receptions to a running back out of the 152 completions. That's huge. You think that's a big? You think that's big? 25 out of 151? I don't think that's a big number. I mean, we had Trent Edwards, so I mean, I guess that. 25 out of 151. That is 17%. Okay. Of his completion. How many of it was Allen's? Like, I, I I doubt it was 10. I doubt it was 10. Now you gotta make me look this up. You really couldn't do 25 out of 151. You didn't have to worry about it. I got you. Why am I, why am I doing that work? Why is your philosophy the same as my wife's? Yeah, that's why I got you. That's why I got you. Big dumb animal. You pick up everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Allen... Let's see, he had 152 completions. Very close. For 1,812 yards the senior season. So the other guy actually threw for more. Threw for more touchdowns, less interceptions. Uh, so for, let's see, receiving to running backs. Eleven. Total? Twelve. Twelve total? Twelve total. Okay, get your calculator out. 12 to 152. Uh, that's less than 10%. You're welcome. Yeah, okay, you're right about that one. So he's not Luke Falk. We've eliminated that. See, okay, so it's almost 8%. 8% of his completions. What, the other guy was double that. Yeah. So. If he would have taken that path to success, he probably would have been around 63%. That Jordan Palmer's a sneaky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so people that bang on his completion percentage, you could say, well, eliminate all completions to running backs for every other college quarterback. One. You tell me. One. He completed one to a running back every game. Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. But that's also on him. you got to say, it's probably... 70, 30, maybe 60, 40 on him because mm -hmm. you choose to throw your running back or not. Yep. Okay? You want to check it down? No. I could fit it right there. I can mm -hmm. put it right there. No, you can't. And it gets knocked away or the guy drops it or whatever. But maybe they didn't have... Maybe the running back was in for protection? Probably. As much as he ran around back there, I doubt he was protecting anything. Why not put him in a row? <laughs> That brings up an interesting I want to look that conversation. Up so bad now. Is if you eliminated all all completions to running backs, how do the other college quarterbacks stack up? Well, Falk would have seven completions total. All right, so we can eliminate him. Okay, Falk's out. Um, oh, this is easy to look up. Let me just look it up. This is easy to look up. So you're going to take the the completions and the attempts out for the running backs? Yeah. Off of his total? Yeah. Okay. This might bury your point right away. To, to players with over 20 rushing attempts. Is that fair? I think that's fair. It's an open offense. It could be, yeah. a, could be a wide offense. Exactly. That's what I mean. So uh, let's see here. Uh, 17. Let's see, that's uh, 33, 34, all right, 33, 36, 41 of his 285 went to running backs. 41 out of 285? Yep. 14%. Damn. That's high. It gets crazy, okay. man. So it's 244 out of 363. 67. What was his completion percentage? 70.5. <laughs> so it dropped to four points. <laughs> so he's a 67% completion guy without the running backs. That's still pretty damn good. I'm. He was the best. I'm You're just saying we compared, right, he's the best. we compared him with the best. 
452 pass attempts, uh, 283 completions. 452, 283, okay. Yeah. Again, two guys with more than 20 rushing attempts. Uh, let's see, 11, 21, 38. Ooh. That's a lot. That's a lot. So if I were to take that same yeah. pathway, so 38's the number. What was his attempts? Uh, 452. Okay. 414. Yeah. And what's his completions? 283. 414, 245, 11, 14. 59.1. So Rosen's adjusted completion percentage to non running backs is 59%. Puts That's a whole different paint job on things, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, so for USC, 480 pass attempts for Darnold. Okay. Uh, two players, let's see here, that's... Uh, Pro style. Yeah, 31. Uh, 40. So 40 receptions by okay. running backs. So it's out of four. How many completions do you have? 303. Wow. 303. 263 divided by 440. 59%. So strange. So Allen's completion percentage is basically two non-running backs, right? Yeah, if you think about it. Completion percentage was two non-running backs. I, I find it to be an interesting conversation to remove the running backs because it really gives you a true read as far as... Now, the, now mind you, the disparity here is the fact that Allen had 12 when everybody else basically had 40. Yeah. Right? All the other quarterbacks had 40 or more. He was Re realistic. One, he was 152 for two... Well, I mean, he completed 100 less passes... 200 less passes or 150 less passes than some of these other quarterbacks so the sample size is smaller so you're going to see a bigger disparity so let's say he completed 300 like Darnold right instead of him completing a 12 passes to running backs it would have been 24 which was still almost half of what Darnold's was so I mean that 270 let's just say you do 30 and 30 let's just say okay. 30 and 30 okay? okay so if you looked at it, it was 152 so we go 182 Divided by 300. Okay. He's at 60.6. Okay. Per completion percentage. Okay. We're not having this discussion. He goes one overall. There comes a point where this class was so heralded that you just start making excuses for the players to keep the class heralded. You know what I mean? Like, look at Rosen. Like, Rosen's completion percentage was 59% to non-running backs. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's... Darnold's was the same, right? The only player that was better was Mayfield, who went number one overall because he's the most accurate passer in college football. Just throwing it out there. You're just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. But, you know, Allen's dropping, Allen's dropping to 54 is a little concerning, but he also completed half as many passes as Darnold. So, I mean... I, I they, they run the ball. That was a run first offense. Oh, wait, a run first offense? Oh, gee, what a surprise. He'll be yeah. right at home. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If he completes 100, 100 passes this year, I'd be impressed. Allen? Oh, yeah. The support your... Yeah, he won't be in as many he games. Won't, exactly. You're saying over 16 games and go, oh, my God. No, no. if he started 16, that would be atrocious. <laughs> That's what I meant. I was like, oh. Oh, he's getting there. He went 3 of 18 this week. <laughs> I was talking to my buddy about statistics the other day. and. Um, uh, Kurt Warner. Remember when they beat the Packers 51-45? Mm -hmm. He went 29 of 33 with five touchdowns. Mm -hmm. He had more touchdowns than incompletions. Yeah, that's a good day. <laughs> Ridiculous. Well, that's a good day. And then that's when the, the next week is when the Saints killed him. <laughs> Remember? He threw that pick and got destroyed. Oh, yeah. By, I think it was Will Smith or somebody. Somebody, yeah. somebody cracked back him. Look at like a raggedy end on me. Hi, man. Good day.
Absolutely. Get back.